Zack Snyder's DC Universe. We all watched it. We all loved it. But of course, there are many people who don't just understand. Who definitely don't understand that obviously this had to be done for good. You see, many people are mad that James Gunn fired actor Henry Cavill. Um, when in fact, they don't even know. Um, they don't even know the reason. And they're attacking on James, who, of course, as you guys all know, he obviously warmed our hearts with the beautiful lesson we've learned in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But if I'm being honest with you, and for what I know, Henry was fired the first time, not by James, by the liar of Walter Hamada. He was fired absolutely for no reason. And this time that he was back, there was nothing to talk about. In fact, the only person who brought him back was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He wasn't meant to be back, but The Rock was the one that rooted for him to be back. And so The Rock did good, but of course, James wanted definitely something new. Something new at this point. Because obviously, Snyder's vision does not apply to all heroes. Superman is not meant to kill. Aquaman, he, I would put him in the middle. And Flash is supposed to be, you know, a comic relief, so... The only one that does agree with Snyder's vision is Batman. And as I love to say, there isn't room for more in the Batcave. So to all people who are with the Restore the Snyderverse hashtags that obviously are hating on a grand, amazing director like James Gunn just because a universe had to be done for good I like to call them widows because they cry for Zack Snyder's universe like if they were crying for a dead husband I have to admit that I love this universe but obviously once again Zack Snyder wanted to make all the heroes like Batman. To me, Batman is the only synonym of violence, killing, and a lot of other bad stuff. Because, of course, in Gotham City, you cannot, of course, be, um, be in peace. There is no day in which you walk and get rubbed. But in Metropolis, Central City... In Metropolis or Central City, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, there's villains, but Superman and Flash cannot be rude and gory like Batman. Aquaman is also a bit of a comic relief. He was. Uh, but he does obviously also get mad at some point. But that doesn't mean he has to be on full violence like Batman. So in theory, I don't get why are you guys hating on James Gunn when he obviously wants everybody to have its own determination. Batman is supposed to be the violent one. Superman, the optimistic one, the symbol of hope. Flash, the comic relief. And Aquaman, just a dude who stresses over. So... In my opinion, I hate Snyder's Widows. Peace out. Bye.